All right, we're back in the F-16 over beautiful Syria map. And we're going to do some tanking. But first I would like to uh, show you a little bit of how I'm setting up a tanker mission which you can frequently train on. So you get a high proficiency when it comes to doing air-to-air -air refueling. So uh, let's uh, check out the mission editor and we're coming back into the cockpit in a short while. Alright, so this is a really quick, fast tanking uh, mission I put together uh, uh, over Syria. Uh, we have an AWACS up here. Uh, it helps us to uh, spot the tankers on uh, the data link. And then I have uh, one F-16 uh, traveling parallel to the tanker and I have one F-18. So I can easily switch between those. And they are set to client, uh, both of them. And they also have their uh, channel put to what frequency I have selected for the tankers. And for the F-16, we of course have the KC-135. Um, if we look at the advanced waypoint actions, we have the TACAN. Uh, just using a default TACAN that we use at the Mars Arms a lot. So for instance, uh, the KC-135 is on channel 1, series 2, Janky. And of course we need to check that the frequency is correct as well, so we can contact the tanker once we're up in the air. Um, the tanker is going to travel from waypoint 0 to waypoint 1. At waypoint 1 it's going to enter an orbit at 26,000 feet um, and speed of uh, 379 or 380 knots. Um, for the purpose of this video uh, I have an extremely long race track. Uh, normally you you would probably just keep uh, the tanker on a racetrack and be between 15 to 20 nautical miles. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to have a long racetrack. Uh, the same goes for the for the tanker for the F-18, uh, which is the NPRS tanker. It has its own frequency, 260. And I have also a different attack and station, 101 Yankee, for that tanker. Um, just to keep those and uh, keep the de uh, deconflicted. This one is on 20,000 and the F-16 tanker is on 26,000. That is of course a lot of feet in between but uh, it's really nice to have. On the weather part uh, I like flying in the weather and I personally like really much to fly on the desert maps especially when I normally lives up here in the northern part of the world uh, it's always a little bit nicer to see something else. Um, so I have scattered and it's very important to see so that you don't have the tankers traveling in between or in the cloud layers. So here we have scattered at 18 to 20,000 which is not conflicting uh, that much. Maybe slightly with F-18 uh, but it's not supposed to be inside uh, clouds. And then we have a few clouds at 36 to 38,000 feet as well. Should it be a factor? And we have on this training mission uh, zero wind. Uh, this is an extremely easy mission to put together. It doesn't take more than 5 to 10 minutes to do. And I usually tank at least one or twice a week uh, just to keep my um, proficiency up on a level that I want it to be, especially when it comes to uh, joining missions and uh, flying together with other groups. Uh, it's, it's really important to know how to tank and be proficient in tanking. And it's always much, much, much harder to tank when you're under pressure, for instance, bad weather, uh, night missions, uh, or if you are in a flight with um, multiple aircrafts which are low on fuel and it's really important that you actually hook up to the tanker on the first time so you can receive the fuel so you easily can let the other uh, flights as well uh, to get their uh, fuel. So I, I tend to do at least one to two trainings during a week um, just to keep it fresh uh, so I'm always 
ready to go to the tanker if needed. Alright, let's head back uh, out into the mission itself. So, we are back in the cockpit, currently traveling at uh, Angels 2-4, speed 355. We need to set up the TACAN and the radio for the tanker. First, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the HSD, so we more easily can see what we have there. And we have our Viper tanker on 26,000 and the Hornet tanker on 22,000, traveling parallel to each other. Uh, so it's not going to be very difficult. They're going on a straight line as you can see in the mission editor. Uh, and then you can of course uh, make this as difficult as you want. You can put your tanker in, in inside the cloud layers for instance. Try to rejoin them there. Uh, or you can change the time of date uh, so you're uh, refueling during the night. Or you can put them in an orbit, so you constantly have to be in a turn and do the tanking. And every, of course, everything, all of those are good things to train on, so you always know how to refuel your aircraft. Alright, setting up the TACAN. We know it's 102, and it's on the janky. Put it on transponder and receive. I do not need to hear the attack can actually so and then we go down here and put the attack can up here so we can see where we have the tanker. Switching over to the right channel and in this case it's channel 2 and we can uh, con um, we can um, radio the tank now. Alright, so we have the tanker at 26,000, traveling at 280 indicated. So, we just go to move that screen away. It's always nice to intercept the tanker slightly offset and not straight in from behind because it's much more difficult to uh, see the closing speed um, when you're straight behind the tanker. There are of course a lot of different ways to intercept the tanker. This is from behind, this is where uh, how I set it up to be on this mission. Um, and we were only a few nautical miles behind. So it's not a big deal uh, at, at this place. But during some missions of course it's uh, more efficient to meet the tanker and not chasing the tanker. Alright, so over here we can see the tanker close. We need to open the tank lid, if there is such a word. And slightly giving a little bit of air brakes to reduce the speed. There are a lot of tutorials on the YouTube um, and some of them are stating that you could use your air brakes and to um, easily manage the speed. Uh, some others state that you can use the different uh, configurations when it comes to uh, stores, for instance Cat 1 or Cat 2. I would recommend highly that you do not try to add um, what should we call it? Um, something extra to be able to tank. It's always nice to learn how to tank with a clean aircraft, not adding or adjusting anything uh, other than uh, the flight model itself. Uh, because you have to build up your muscle memory and that has to be the same every single time. So for instance, it can be a little bit tricky when the e when Eagle Dynamic is changing the flight model, for instance, for F-16. 
Then you probably need to do a new training and how to learn and tank with adjusted flight model. But other than that, I would recommend that you do not actually try to learn how to tank with air brakes out or change any of the configurations. Um, you should be able to learn to do this with the aircraft's uh, configuration as supposed to be. All right, enough tank uh, talking. We'll see if I can rejoin now in a nice way. And it's all about small, small, small adjustments with a stick and throttle constantly. We're going to let the tank know that we are behind here. Ready, recontact. Clear contact. And slightly moving into position. I'm in no way an expert on this. It's always just difficult and it's always nice to do training on tanking, regardless what you fly. You can see the light coming to uh, going active on the tanker Contact. and now it's just keeping your position I do not focus on anything special uh, other than the lights in the front and I try to just see in a bigger picture where my aircraft is traveling so as you can see I'm going down a little bit and slowing up so I need to speed a little bit uh, more and reducing going up small 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 adjustments all the time you need to adjust all the time and very focused just keep a good eye on those lights that's all you need to focus on nothing else and there we go we can reduce the speed lower ourselves and slide slightly back and into our waiting position there we go and to the right and then we move up information with a tanker and sometimes the tanker is doing funny things as it did now and I have basically no clue where he's where he's going <laughs> he's, he's just off and the last part I don't think we can say very much about it it's uh, on Eagle Dynamics table I have to say we have put everything together correctly and nicely and all of a sudden the tank <laughs> decides to do something completely different which is really funny um, yeah but all you need to do is practice 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 it's uh, never easy uh, to tank um, it's going to be easier which I said in other videos but it's never easy to tank but you can get really good at it and I mean try to of course learn first in nice good weather conditions before uh, stepping up your game um, but you, you will have to learn how to tank uh, on uh, during the night for instance or in bad weather or if the tanker is in the clouds or something like that you, you, uh, you need to know how to do that uh, especially if you're going to play on online server or if you're in a clan or a group uh, flying on missions for instance you will most certainly know how to tank all right that was that a uh, short fast video on how you can refuel your f-16 see you back shortly <laughs>